Millions of Canadians with disabilities face barriers every day and have been calling for change. We go live now to Maliha Sheikh with more on an alarming new report. Maliha. Melissa, there are 6.2 million Canadians living with disabilities, and many of them face barriers in their day-to-day -day lives. Statistics Canada has just released a report from 2017 highlighting some of the inequities this group may face. A disabilities advocate we spoke with says four years later, not much has changed. They're all illegal. They all violate the Human Rights Code, these barriers. And in the case of governments, they violate the Charter of Rights. Lawyer and disability advocate David Leposky says the number of barriers Canadian people with disabilities face in 2021 is appalling. Some of the barriers we face are physical barriers, like buildings that are still being built today, even with government money, that are not designed to be accessible uh, to people with disabilities. Websites which are not accessible to blind folks like me, even though we have adaptive equipment that works with a website. Some barriers are new due to the pandemic. The new vaccine passport system in Ontario got accessibility problems. Statistics Canada has just released data from a 2017 Canadian survey on disability. Some of the findings are the following. Just over one sixth of Canadians with disabilities consider themselves housebound because specialized transportation is unavailable. More than two fifths of Canadians with physical disabilities require at least one type of aid, assistive device or accessibility feature within their home. The Accessible Canada Act, which came into effect in 2019, aims to identify, remove and prevent barriers for persons with disabilities when interacting with federally regulated organizations. Lepofsky says two years since the act came into effect, minimal work has been done. The problem is progress has been glacial. It has been going extremely slowly, far slower than these laws require. And so the barriers are coming down too slowly, and as quickly as any of them come down, new ones are popping up. The key thing the federal government has to do, it hasn't done at all. It's required to set national accessibility standards for things like uh, broadcast uh, telecommunication services, for banking services, and for other federally regulated services. The disability advocate we spoke with says we need strong accessibility regulations enacted so obligated organizations know what they need to do and when they need to do it by.